hello everyone and welcome back to my channel you know um <laughs> yo <laughs> freaking freaking uh offending everybody just dropped a video uh, uh it was nine oh nine hours ago as of as of recording this so yeah guys <laughs> how to fix america let's see what he has in store for us this time because uh, this dude is crazy as am i so um <laughs> If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe to the channel, you know, and um, if you enjoy the content, you know, share it, you know, let everyone know. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate you and I thank you. So let's get this. Let's laugh. And uh, some people might be offended if even if they if they don't want to laugh. OK, let's go. <laughs> Quit it! Quit it! America has some major problems right now, so here are 10 ways to fix America. Number oh, okay, 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 what? Yo, so, the homeless problem, you throw money at it. Okay, so, okay, okay, number one. Number one, ban ugly babies. Every guy's nightmare is hearing, I'm pregnant. And the only thing worse is being preggers with tism face. What is that, what? a demon? Get your hell spawn away from me, Becky. It's loud, stupid, and hurts to look at. So why would I want to hold it? I want to spike it, possibly pale it to a ceiling. Yo, someone, 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 yo, that is child endangerment, bro. Yo, he's making jokes, YouTube. He's making jokes. <laughs> he's making jokes. And yeah. Comedy, <laughs> yo. Some people are gonna get me upset at his type of comedy, but yeah. Fan, but hold. Well, look, yeah. everyone deserves a second chance, and we should give mothers a second chance not to bake a potato. Yeah. So how do we solve it? Well, we all love dogs, right? Yeah. We all know there's a lot of hungry dogs out there. Okay, okay. I think some of you see where I'm going. No, yo, this dude, the dude. He didn't even finish it because he already painted the picture in our in our heads, bro. <laughs> uh, With this now, before you call child services, or yes, Peter, hear me out. This isn't Both. about cruelty, okay? It's about we hate Peter, though. We hate Peter. Peter um pr puts uh, human lives over animals, uh, uh, animal lives over human lives. Yeah, I almost messed that up. Sustainability. Get uh, uh. With this now, before you call child services. Or PETA, hear me out. This isn't about cruelty, okay? It's about sustainability. Think of it like recycling with a more immediate impact on our happiness. We no, no, that that visual, that is, that is cursed, bro. That is, no. Yo, he, 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 he does not have any freaking uh, uh, restraint. And that's the offending people part, but yeah. Call it cradle to the kennel. No more forgetting your stroller outside Chris's house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he did it. He did it. He did it. Yo. He's not. Okay, so he's not afraid to get canceled. He, he did it with Dr. Disrespect. He did it with. You know, he did, he did it with Ava. Okay. Okay. Now we roll it deep, bro. <laughs> Just take little Billy down to the shelter and Kobe him in the nearest deep fryer. What? That free throw might make you sad, but that trophy will make you forget. So let's start turning little nightmares into happy meals. No. Two, paying for kitty. Men are monsters. We all have this built-in rage meter that spikes with every sus joke. Pork and helps relax us. No guy's ever gotten a blowy and is like, oh. Oh, maybe we should nuke Iran. Besides, what really no. is prostitution? If corn is legal. Why? Because you have a camera and make him sign a best be on a pill contract? <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the loopholes, bro. That's one of the loopholes because that's a that's that um I think um Family Guy made this joke where there um a cop bu busted into the room. Yeah, thought it was a, a prostitution situation, but they had a camera, so he's filming it. It's pornography, so yeah, it's a legal loophole. So they got away with it. Gold digging is legal. Al Pacino recently became a father at age 83 with his girlfriend who's 29. That's a f Dang. No, bruh. I don't. I, yo, 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 yo. Yo, hold on. What? I know that as, I, I know that I've said previously that as long as they're consenting adults, bruh, but I <laughs> That age gap right there, yo, you know she's a sugar baby. And you know she knows what she wants. She's securing her future. And Al Pacino, they're going to look at Al Pacino as a disgusting one. 
but the both of them are disgusting for for that situation. They freaking and this I know a lot of people. They, I, I don't really care what they do in their in their personal lives. This is just a moral argument, and you know people are don't like moral arguments because it seems like you're looking down on people. Like you take a moral high ground, you know. But that this is how I see things. Twenty one forty one. Yeah, I was I would still say consenting adults because yes, no one forced them. They both decided to take on that situation. It's weird. Don't get me wrong, it's weird, but dang, 54 years age gap. What? Yo, that girl wasn't even a thought in her father's nuts. Yo, yo, in her father's brain. Before, oh, what? She wasn't even conceptualized. Bro. And uh, yo, people, they're adults. They can do whatever they want with their life. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what be, that's what adulting means, you know? 54 year age gap. Now sure, maybe she gets turned on by playing jump rope with his old man balls, <laughs> or maybe she's looking for a little financial security. Either yes, way, they're that's both what. consenting adults who deserve to trade jet skis for blowies. Number three, yes. homeless guinea pig. We have a massive homeless problem right now, and this crisis could be solved if they just had a job. But unless it's given handies for meth, what job can a homeless person do? Simple, human guinea pig. Right now, we test drugs on mice who share about 97.5% of our DNA, but that 2.5% could be a herpes side effect. That's why homeless people should test drugs before us normal. Normies take them. I'm not saying. <laughs> do just put that. Do just put the pill back on the table. But yes, I get what he's saying. But that falls under probably human exper experimentation, you know. And uh, probably there are ways to get around that. But no, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's get to this. I'm saying we force some. I'm saying we encourage. Go up to one and be like, hey, so I have this pill that may or may not give you heart palpitations, but I also have $120. Hmm? Hmm? That way regular people get safe mm -mm. drugs and the homeless get my cruelty. <laughs> Number four, we Dang. need to exterminate deer. And this one's personal because deer killed deer. my mom. I mean, technically she OD'd, but I like to think deer were on her mind at the time. Point is, deer caught- What? So he's just blaming the deer for nothing, for freaking things that don't connect. 60 to 70,000 auto accidents a year. And yes, that number has to be inflated. Because if you hit someone with your car, the first thing you're blaming an honest deer. For the last time, it wasn't Billy, it was Bambi! Oh, but deer. <laughs> I like, I like whenever the dude gets um upset, you know, like he freaking. And uh, again, imagine your neighbor is hearing you recording this. <laughs> next door and they wonder if they, and they wonder if something's wrong with you but this right here my dear friend nokota it's an anime airing this season about a freaking dear anime girl <laughs> goes going to high school dear antlers i don't i don't know what it is but the freaking the freaking uh trailer seemed funny but I'll check it out to find out if it's good. They're so cute. Yeah, want to push them downstairs. Legs just flailing everywhere as I'm licking my lips, knowing that meat is about to be tender. Now, some of you may not be on board with exterminating them. But what about relocate? Like, we could take all the ones from the wild and put them in a place where they wouldn't get distracted. Like some sort of concentration camp. That way, the mm -hmm. roads stay safe and deer get what's coming to them. Oh Number my five. gosh, no, bro. That is, that is, no. A deer, a deer guess the situation. Okay. Public humiliation. We need to bring back public ridicule, and I got the perfect solution. This is a pillory. Back in the day, whenever someone was a huge d we throw them in this nifty little device. Imagine walking down the street and seeing Kanye stuck in one of these. Be like, hey, Yeezy. I guess your high fives for Hitler comments had consequences after all. Hey, be a doll and take a picture of my Jewish cousin. Everyone say karma, karma, karma. <laughs> Number six, <laughs> drugs? <laughs> Why are some drugs illegal? Seriously, because some are bad for you? So are cheeseburgers. Yet I don't see any fatties getting tackled at McDonald's. And heart disease is the number one killer in America. So if we're going purely off deaths, then Big Macs are worse than heroin. And some illegal drugs have health benefits. Psilocybin can help with depression. THC can help reduce PTSD triggers. And fentanyl can help anyone under 5'7 finally be happy. Oh my gosh, anyone after under 5'7. Yo. I see those, I see those fent zombies though, I see those videos of people just falling asleep slumped over on the freaking sidewalk, that's scary man dude, that is scary, yo you got to be careful people, if you, I'm not gonna tell you how to freaking live your life, if you do partake in certain substances, make sure you know the source, and uh, I know knowing the source, could get you a kill.
and uh, they might think you a cop. But dang, you you are the police. They might think yo yo so <laughs> dang. And yo, you t- it takes such a a minute amount to OD on that stuff, bro. Crazy, crazy. How about we just legalize it all and let natural selection do the rest? Because in my America, everyone deserves a quarter pounder and a quarter ounce. Oh. Number seven, sell me your parts. No matter how poor you are, everyone's sitting on a pile of cash. Do you have any idea how much your organs are worth? You could trade bone marrow for a new Camaro, a ball to a trip to Nepal, a mm. kidney for a wedding at Disney, or literally an eye for an iPhone. I mean, you can already what? sign up to be an organ donor. Why is it illegal to turn to a side hustle? And both sides of the aisle should be together on this one. Conservatives don't want the government to tell them what to do, and liberals are poor. It's a win-win win for everyone. Also, side note, if you're an organ donor and decide to wrestle a bear, is that a suicide attempt or a charity event? Because I'm pretty... <laughs> it's probably both. It's probably both. Pretty sure there'd be some sick kids in the front row rooting for the bear. Number eight, mm-hmm. trans people need to relax. Most people don't give a shit what you do with your body. If you want to chop off your eggplant and change your name from Steve to Stacey, go ahead. You should be able to do whatever you want with your body, and I should be able to call you whatever name I want. It's America. If I want to call you Mr. Poopy Face, then that's my right. No one can tell me I can't call them Mr. or Mrs. Poopy Face. Well, maybe except black people. Uh, the point- <laughs> <laughs> This dude is crazy. Yo, this dude is crazy, but they do need to relax, though. They do need to relax. Now, whoever wants to be upset can be upset at that. You know? Let's continue. (laughs) Yeah. Point is, if someone calls you the wrong name or pronoun, then that's their right. The same way as your biological decisions are your right. You see? Yep. That's a quality right there. But some, yep. not all, but some trans people will try to bully and cancel others who don't believe in their ideology. Like trans yeah. people should be allowed in all sports. Really? No exceptions? You can identify as whatever you want and compete for money or scholarships? What if Conor McGregor identifies as paraplegic and starts beating the downs out of someone in the Special Olympics? Yep. Yep. You see, you see the examples, bro. You see the examples. And I know that not all, not all trans people are like that. It's just a very radical and crazy view. It's a mental illness for either way, but yeah. <laughs> it's just some crazy people that wants to throw the whole concept of biology out the window. Years of science that has been proven again and again. No, no, they want to throw it out the window because it does not confirm their bias or the, the reality that they want to live in. Is that okay? How does Billy supposed to tap out when he can't move his hands? They don't tell me Connor's not paralyzed. He's got CTE. He's yeah. basically a Pop-Tart. Look, all I'm saying <laughs> is we got to have some sort of middle ground. You can't just identify as whatever you want and compete against people with a clear disadvantage. So yeah. trans people, you need to relax. Because your life yes. is going to have a bunch of challenges I will never face. I'm a white male. Every time I get pulled over, I get treated fairly. And I can pee while standing up. What more could a person want? So try your best not to let other people's ignorance upset you. Because the only way you can beat hate is with love. You're dirty, dirty love. Number Damn nine, you. loud children. If a child is screaming in public and their parent is ignoring them, then you should be allowed to that child. No one gets yeah. slapped in the face and doesn't immediately change their behavior. It's like a wake-up call in life. It's just because yeah. you didn't pull out seven years ago doesn't mean everyone in Target should suffer. Sure, no means no, but definitely means no. So if yeah. babies be crying, my hands be a-flying. No, no, not the babies, bro. Not the babies. They don't understand. They don't understand, bro. So, so, so I don't, uh, I don't agree with you on that, bro. <laughs> and I'm telling you, this dude literally is intentionally pushing these jokes, bro. He's intentionally doing this, and you two be on his case. You, you see, you saw that the video was age restricted uh, on in the description right there. Yeah, you two got on his case with this one. Um, but yeah, um, wait until they reach an age where they understand punishment. So. You give them their their devices and uh, take them away whenever they're not behaving and isolate them you know send her to them send them to their room <laughs> yeah um when that doesn't work then you have to then you have to slap them yes you have to you have to you have to discipline them yeah i got so many i got so many ass beatings when i was young bro. <laughs> and i turned up better i'm not freaking out in the streets slinging dope and Firing guns and at people, you know. I'm not locked up, bro. I'm not locked up because I know that there are consequences to my actions. <laughs> and I learned that very early on. 
in. Number 10. Triple privilege! Why are we giving Spaghetti Legs over here special treatment? He doesn't need a seat at the movie theater. He brought his own. Disabled people <laughs> are constantly being given a free ride. They get government handouts, discount on lap dances, <laughs> and prime parking. When's the last time you saw stilts at a rock climbing gym? Hmm? You think it's gonna go back to the scene of the accident? And grocery stores are the worst. I gotta park half a mile away because Jimmy failed at skiing. <laughs> I'm tired of giving handouts to people who can't catch us! And I don't wanna hear how tough you're like. Can't get tired of giving handouts to people who can't catch us. So what the hell is up with this dude? I'm telling you, he's going to get cancelled one of these days, but because he's faceless on YouTube, he can't. And when the hell did he get a beard? When did he get a beard? Or a five o'clock shadow? Life is. My dad used to beat me every time the microwave went off. Now I have a panic attack every time I smell a hot pocket. Where's my <laughs> disability check? Hmm? You think I could work at Papa John's without having a flashback? Have mercy, Papa. I get that your life is tough, but we've all had a tough life, okay? So stop making tier lists of who had the most trauma. The only yeah. thing you should care about is how to monetize your crippled body. And there are plenty of options. Cooking shows, hammer time, jumping yeah. over the school pool. Sure, they all sound dangerous, but remember, you can't get paralyzed twice. And gaining attention will only help you with the ladies. Take yeah. a look at the fish Gimpy car. Oh my gosh. You know she doesn't. Oh my gosh. Are you a, are you a genuine caring human being that's what i would like to ask her you know and uh, people will look at her sideways and ask us are you evil or even questioning her motives <sighs> well both of them are getting whatever benefit they, they they they're getting out of the situation he probably knows that and she probably knows that and they're probably okay with not letting with not saying it out loud you know Let's continue. Caught. Sure, she's not a 10, but that's a fixable face. And he yeah. trapped this bass all while never wiping his ass? He said, why be disabled in mope when I could be feeling her throat? Bonus yeah. category, <laughs> women should be allowed to be topless. Tits make people happy. It's a fact. No one sees a pair of fun bags and isn't instantly in a better mood. So why are women forced <laughs> to hide them? Because men sexualize them? Well, so do women. You're telling me there wasn't water flowing when Steve Rogers came out of that pod? And to me, there's mm -hmm. no such thing as bad tits. You can have an old, wrinkled pair of flapjacks, and I'd still like to see those pen Pendulum swing. <laughs> so those are ten ways to fix America. If I missed any, please let me know down in the comments. Very offensive. This video is very offensive, people. And if you enjoy it, and if you enjoy it, let me know, man. Let me know. <laughs> because yo, more of them is coming. Yo, more of them uh, more of them are on their way, people. <laughs> <laughs> And just remember, vegans love vegetables. <laughs> if you're blind, you don't need a dog to avoid traffic. You need to walk towards traffic. Why are we giving Meals on Wheels a head start when he comes with a built-in shopping cart? Deer are part of the ecosystem. Of what? Killing families after soccer practice? Every yeah. flight of stairs is like a boss, preventing you from getting to the next level. Why are we giving them housing? All they need is a used pair of Crocs and a Roman Reigns action figure. Stop being disabled and sad and start being rich and bad. Why do they get all the perks while I'm doing the leg work. Oh, but deer are so cute. Yeah, when I push him downstairs, or as it's called in Texas, she slipped. Imagine if oh you could beat the chromosome gosh. out of someone, what? you know? Oh my god. Oh my god. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm, you know what you uh, Yo. <laughs> People, that is it, right? It's a no, 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 no. Yo, this dude is going to hell. This dude is going down there. <laughs> well, yeah, you you're not going to hell for joking. <laughs> Yo, people, if you enjoy the reaction, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Even if you're upset, <laughs> put it in the comments because I know that you, yeah, you very, you really want to, you really want to put it in the comments. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, you know. <laughs> like and subscribe to the channel. Miss Wolf. Peace out. You take a mask. Let's get this. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. Later, people. <laughs>